Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Stalker Call of Pripyat. And I'm recording this right immediately after the end of the previous part, so jumping right in. I've got a couple of things I've got to take care of. Most pressing is actually probably the fact that I need a Gravi artifact, which maybe I can get from over here. I have to come over here anyway, back to Jupiter, in order to get it a stash. Uh, but if nothing comes to that, I'm not going to show you it. I'm just going to get right into it, hit the ground running, and see the most amazing thing, which is whatever's going on with those duty guys over at the cooling tower. In the last episode, we might have well discovered an entirely new kind of anomaly, and as a man of science, officially, it's in my achievement list. I can't wait to see where such things lead. Hmm. Looking at the map now, I'm kind of thinking it might be in that tunnel over there, which I've never actually noticed before. Uh, still some stuff on the ground from the remains of those bandits and their drug deal we took out over here. Yeah, I'd never actually noticed this. And a couple of health kits and a shotgun, nothing special, but I will certainly take them. Every little bit helps. Actually, now that I think about it, we do actually get uh, medkits delivered to our stash here, right? Uh, great, another fight club in front of Jupiter. Whoa. And them some strong dogs. Very aggressive strong dogs. All right, let's head over here and do this for the 50th time. There's our scanner doing work still. This whole place is just becoming a wash in dead mutants. Excuse me, guys. I've got to take my leave. Yeah, you better run. Ah! Ah! No! Screw you! Oh! Ow! 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 Rude. I did not think that would be an issue for me. Ah! Try and ambush me. Get in there. Uh, we can't physics you in there. Lame. Now, we do have the soul artifact on us, which should slowly but surely increase our health. Fine by me. Oh, look at that. It looks like it detects chemical threats as well. Ah, oh, we're learning a lot from this detector. I'm assuming that this is like an endgame detector then, right? The last one we'll ever need? I hope so. But it said that there was an artifact here, and there isn't one. Maybe this one doesn't detect them normally. Oh, I put all my Velus detectors in the in the box at home. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, so it even says on the map that we can see if the scanners have detected anything here. And it says it's detected artifacts. Now, I looked on the wiki, and it said that this thing does detect artifacts as well. It's not just these anomalies. But I don't see it on here. Is that a bug? I think I'm going to end up giving the PDA to freedom. Because, look, I feel like if I take this quest from duty, we're still going to investigate the anomaly either way, but it'll be something more about... Spill it! Something more about sealing it off so that I'm no man. one ever encounters it again, uh, which sounds good in general, but bad for me in terms of my artifact hey, hunting. I found the duty founder's PDA. Founder? You interested? Well, as long as it's got something useful on it. Wow, that's real interesting. They keep spreading their propaganda throughout the zone, but as it turns out, their own history is full of crap. I'd love to give this a thorough read. I'll pay you well for this PDA. Yeah, take it. And we received an SGI 5K and some 556 five, rounds. Excellent. That's better than the money. 
I tell you what, eh, I still don't want to ask if the monolith we'll fighters can join them. But it seems like we do have them as green stars now. They probably would accept. I guess, in the absence of any other artifacts to look for, we'll just go back to the scientists and see if they have any other jobs for me. But man, what was going on over at the cooling tower, and is there any further we can investigate? I was kind of expecting a quest from this. And maybe I could have gotten it if I had given it to the duty people. I'm ready to try to confirm or disprove the hypothesis. I'm delighted that there are still people in the world who are willing to make sacrifices for the greater scientific good. The best place to conduct the experiment is the landslide on the southern edge of the quarry. The area is full of gravitational anomalies that mutants normally try to avoid. The device I'm giving you has a built-in mutant detection sensor. When you return the device after you completed the experiment, I'll be able to track the effects of emission levels on mutant aggression. Are you prepared to do this? Yes, everything you've done has been so great for me. Alright, bye. Also, can you maybe give me scanners that'll help with anomalies in other parts of the zone? And now we're in that tough spot where it's dark out, and I'm not one to pass up on atmosphere. But this really isn't the best time to be doing this. See, the thing is, it's dark, which means we need night vision, but we're going into an anomaly, which means we need the suit. Really offers us a lot of protection that we would not otherwise have. Well, here we are. If bolts were a finite resource, this would make things easier, and wow. Okay, so those round things, those must be the gravitational anomalies. So if we toss forward, yes. All right. Well, those are a lot more dense than the flame ones, so let's just move carefully. There's our scanner from before. I don't believe there's meant to be any artifacts here right now, but we can set up another scanner right here next to the first one. And just wait. We can't see much on our own. I imagine any mutants that come in here will be destroyed instantly, right? Here they come. What are they? Are they bloodsuckers? How do I know when it's over? Snorks. Thanks for the help, Anomaly! Now where's the rest of them? And there's an image for a thumbnail. Oh, the whole sky goes blood red. Such an apocalyptic image. Whoa! Coming from behind now, are they? Burn. No. These anomalies are now my best indicator of what's out there. Okay, we're done. We're done, we're done. Take the scanner. And let's get out of here. Oh, this new detector certainly makes things much easier. Oh, that was so harrowing! Being in the dark made that so much cooler, even though it may not be the intended way of doing it. Oh, being able to hear the growls all around us. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can see mutant eyes over that way. 
Hopefully it's a corpse, but I can just hear them growling in the dark. Only able to detect them as they trip nearby anomalies. Uh, this game keeps finding new ways to make me feel... <laughs> to make me feel like I don't know anything. And I love it for that. Darkwood did the same thing, which is why I consider this to be such a worthy successor to that series. Your oh. favorite scientist is back, and I brought the scanner. I don't know what your device will show, but I believe yeah. the hypothesis fully Very checks well. out. Come on over. After I activated I the scanner, shut up. After I activated the scanner, it took all of five minutes for Snorks to come charging at me. Excellent. Uh, but what more is there to do for you guys now? Now that the scientists aren't offering me any more jobs, I'm at a little bit of a loss for what to do now. The only thing I can think is to maybe go tell Duty what happened to their guys, even if I don't have the PDA. But I think the time is fast approaching for us to actually start thinking about going to Pripyat. Uh, another day. And it passes by without another delivery from Nimble. I'd very much like to go check with him to see what's going on. And we gotta find more of that gravy stuff. I, I swear I've had artifacts like that before, but I sold them early on because I didn't have any other thing to do with them. That's a dark, foggy day out. But I've just got nothing else to do here, so let's move out. You can collect the goods. Ah, nimble, just in time. I'm listening. Hey, bro. Howdy ho! Oh, I'm so listening. annoying to get in the hey, door here. Stalker. How are you? Oh, this place is buzzing with activity today. Maybe there's a lot of artifacts out there. Which means I gotta be first. That's your order complete. Excellent. So I'm here to collect my order. Uh, look here. I managed to get everything off my list. A CSA 3 with a helmet? Nothing special on its own, but it allows for installing a mobile tactical complex which includes high-quality night vision and an active infrared sensor. Now the CS-3A armor is a real beauty. Excellent protection from bullets and anomalies is a rare feature indeed in a suit as light and mobile as this one. 32,000. Okay, here you go. And tell you what, I'm going to place another order as well. I would very much like an exoskeleton. You must have given this choice a lot of thought. I can get my hands on a combat version, but it'll cost you 60,000. Expensive, I know, but well worth it. I'll need 12,000 right now. Look, I have money for whatever I want, so here. Hey, bro. Now, let's have a look at the goods. Ah, there we are. Um, it's worse in terms of, like, most types of protection, but it's definitely better for firefights, which is what we wanted. Now, we got another one of these things, which we already had. Maybe we'll sell it. I don't know. But I think we're doing pretty good now in terms of this. Actually, you know what? I am going to keep just the suit on for the moment. For the simple reason that this thing only has one artifact slot. I'm sure we can upgrade it to make it way better, but... And eh, we've got to take all this stuff to Nitro first. Oh, here's Ganta. Howdy, how's it hanging? You look rested. Yeah, if I see Magpie, I'll let you know for sure. And we have to go search for that guy. Alright, so that's another task we have while we're here. Unfortunately, Hello. I still have not found Gravy, and I can't sell you anything else until then. Drop in if something interesting comes up. Won't be going anywhere, that's for sure. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a look around, and maybe perhaps... You know what, maybe I'll just sell the laptop to Owl, because that objective is still on my screen, and I already know about the lab underneath Jupiter. I'll be going there as soon as possible. Here you go, uh, blah blah blah. Notebook from the mercenary camp. So Here you go. You got anything new? And that mission is complete. Goodbye.
Now I have two out of the three, shut up. I do have two out of the three Velus Detectors, so if I happen to find another one out there, then I can complete his final quest. I'm just feeling a little bit turned around right now because I'm not used to having no real sense of direction. Nobody's really offering any quests anymore, at least not that I've talked to. Uh, we have a few more vague, like, should you happen to run into it type of things, but I really don't have anything specific to be doing except finding that gravity anomaly, and I still don't know what happens if I fail it. I think it really is almost time to start heading out towards Pripyat. Uh, hello, we've got an artifact down below, and it's right next to a gravitational anomaly. That's down in the Cave of Wonders. Well, I'll tell you what, it's worth going after since we are working for a gravitational one. Uh, the only issue is it is a little bit difficult to navigate down here. Actually, it's also a little bit difficult to see. Pardon me, ma'am? Yes, it's through here. It'll tear us apart if we try to go in normally. If we go behind it... Yep. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Yes! I got it! Yes! Okay. Uh, is there anything else down here? Gotta be very careful. Yeah, with the size of the gravity anomalies on the screen, it's a little bit difficult to see artifacts within them. But I think this leads out of the cave, and we're good. If we hurry back to Beard, we should be okay! Man, you guys really won't leave me alone recently. All right. It was a two-parter arc, but we got it done here. Hello. Job is done, and he gives me 18,000 rubles. Now we're starting to pay off that exoskeleton already. Now, what else do you need? Gravy, Eye, and Firefly. Well, I know I have Eye. I don't know about Firefly. I'll have to see. And we've learned an important lesson about not reading Pop carefully. There's another one. Job is done. Excellent. Another 18,000. And that's like two-thirds of the exoskeleton paid for right there. Anything else you need? Uh, Gravy, Firefly, and Goldfish, which is not for sale. I'll come back sometime later. All right, well, I'm glad we've got that out of the way. Now, while we're here, is there anything else that needs doing in Satan? No. You know what? I think that's it. Hey, stalker. How are you? Fine. Uh, I think we have to head straight back to Yanov now. And start heading towards Pripyat. Let's go. It's been a long time now since we looked up at that tower knowing that up there is the key to get into the center of the zone. It almost feels kind of wrong now to actually be doing it. Now the wonder of this scene is really being ruined by the sounds of distant gunfire. But we were told to speak to a man who lives in this tower about the route. Actually, a really nice place you've got here. This looks super cozy. What's up? Hey, man. Hey, I've got important business to discuss with you. Cool. Let's have a drink first to make sure we take this important business as seriously as we should. Yeah, sure, I've got plenty of vodka. Now, the Zulu character actually looks really, really detailed and realistic. And he's wearing a duty uniform. I'm planning to go to Pripyat via the underground passage that goes under the Jupiter plant. Nitro can get the entrance open. Hmm. Going to Pripyat underground. That's an idea. And that calls for another drink. <laughs> okay, cheers. Oh man, are you in any way related to the mechanic from Zatan, by the way? Ugh. This is good <sighs> stuff. I hope you're not planning on tackling this mission on your own, no? That won't do. I'll go with you. And we're gonna need others, too. A couple of trustworthy people are always useful in this kind of thing. 
I, I could do it on my own. I mean, at Zatan, I took out a bloodsucker lair on my own. A couple of gas tanks, and it's party time. Wow, respect, man. Let's drink to always having a gas tank to hand. Oh, well, I guess I just made a choice. I thought he was going to tell me why I'm an idiot. Oh, I see. It's per dialogue option. Well, Nitro advised me to get a squad together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's have another drink to the success of this mission. Man, at this rate, we're not going to make it to the mission. Hmm, nice, ain't it? And a squad is a good idea. We need at least three people. You got anyone in mind? Well, there's you and me. Uh, there's this guy called Noah who locked himself in a barge. Uh, his version of Hello is unloading both barrels of a shotgun on you. Uh, I met Vano at Yanov some time back, and he couldn't pay off his debts, but I helped him out. And there's a guy in the scientist's bunker. He hasn't got anything to do, so he might agree. Alright, uh, I was kind of expecting to be able to get Gary to help, but he left. Uh, but Sokolov might help. Military, and more reliable than Vano, that's for sure. Uh, I guess we're taking another drink, huh? Alright, I'll find some folks. And we are going to need some suits. Don't worry about me, because my suit is all good. But we'll need them for the others, and it may take a little work. These suits aren't exactly common around here. Here's to a successful search. Oh, one more, huh? Well, look, I can totally afford these things, alright? I'm Daddy Warbucks at this point. The only issue is... I mean, I could do this on my own. I would like to, and I feel like I'm just bringing people to their deaths at this point. Well, that seems to be it. The main thing is to make sure we don't get lost underground. Uh, relax, man. See, the, the logical thing to say is, don't worry, I've got the schematics, but I feel like some drunken bragging is in order. Ah, uh, relax, man. I found the oasis the other day. The same one nobody else could get to. Wow, you're a real pathfinder. We'll find the way to Pripyat in no time with you around. Cheers. Oh my lord, this is fatal. Well, that seems to be it. The main thing is to make sure we don't get lost underground. Don't worry, I've got the schematics, and I'll drink to that. This is unbelievable. How are you guys still going? I mean, I'm standing. You just kind of have to lean there. And there we go. That's the tipping point. Wow, he looks real ominous in that shadow, doesn't he? And the time is skipped. It's now 6 a.m. Okay, it's a deal. We'll go together. Whatever fighters you see, send them my way and I'll make a team out of them. Once everything is ready, give me a shout. We'll pick up Nitro and head for Jupiter. Okay. So that's you, me, Nitro, and Sokolov. And I guess... <laughs> I guess Vano can come too if we need him? I feel like we're fine, and in fact... I would probably be fine on my own. I mean, I do have the mystical ability to save scum. Uh, however, I want to make sure I can get everybody through safe. I mean, these are all people that I've come to know, and I really don't want anything to happen to them. Well, spill it! How dare you how to kill controllers? The other day, I chanced upon a buttload of artifacts and decided to stash them while still en route, because my back couldn't hack it anymore. On the way back, I got to my stash, and there it was, a controller, chilling right on top of it. Now, I thought to myself, controller or no controller, I gotta get my shit back. Then I realized that if I shield myself with something, it's manipulation bullshit won't work on me. So, I picked up a metal grate that I found lying around and started sneaking up on the beast. 
By the time it woke up to what was going on, I'd pumped half a clip into the cocksucker's head. Just as it started trying to control me, I gave it a final bash with my rifle butt, and that was that. How would you like to join an expedition? Put your money where your mouth is if that story is indeed true, and if it's not, you make a convenient meat shield that I don't know. Hey, Sokolov. I know I should probably be extracting you, but how'd you like to take on a job? What do you want? Yo, I'm putting a squad together to go to Pripyat with. You want to join me? Pripyat? You know, I think I will. Maybe some of our guys survived and made it there. There's an evacuation point in Pripyat, so that's actually my destination. You'll need a suit. Well, in that case, we need it to be rock solid like the ones the scientists have. Then again, talking Herman into giving me a suit isn't going to be easy. I have a feeling he'd rather I walk bare to the edge of the zone than take up precious room in their bunker. You could ask Ozerski, I guess. He's a bit nicer, and he might agree to issue me a suit. Okay, well, I'm on pretty good terms with them, so... So maybe that'll be easier now. Hello. Hey, uh, it's always nice to see a new face in our bunker. That just hurts so much every time. Is there any way I can get a scientific suit? That's against protocol. We have to account for every item of equipment we have. Then again, knowing Herman, he probably ordered more than we need. I think that in certain circumstances, he could be convinced to part with one of them. What needs to happen for you to talk to Herman about a suit? An area filled with a previously unknown anomalous plant has appeared near the edge of the quarry. I really want a sample of this plant, but stalkers refuse to go near the place. If I had one of the plants, I could speak to Herman about rewarding you with one of the spare suits. Okay, I'll go get it for you. That's the one I was intending to do a couple episodes ago. Alright, I'll see you next time. If my understanding is correct, doing this quest, along with getting the wheel for Beard, would have enabled us to get the detector. But, you know, I'm actually kind of happy with the way things worked out. Oh, it's just you. Come on. Ah, oh, you made a mutant friend. Yeah, it's just that whenever I see that detector bar filling, I really, really start getting the heebie-jeebies about bloodsuckers. Well, we have pretty good protection. It's somewhere in here, and with this detector, we don't really have much use for the bolts anymore. Just gotta be really careful and treat it like a minefield. I wish we could look closer at the screen. Uh, if stalkers won't go near this place, then how did you even know this thing is in here? Oh wow, this is really, really useful for when your screen gets all colored. Yeah, yeah, come get me. Yeah, that's right, you get burned. Oh wow, you're you're not you're not being deterred. Are you dead now? I hope so. Let's crouch under these. Make our way through here. And right around here should be that sample we're looking for. There it is. Excellent. Now we just have to find a way out. Going through here seems the safest bet. And up through here. I uh, got a little bit of a burn, but we're very protected. And there we go. None the worse for wear. Oh, the sky is doing some weird Bethesda logo stuff. Oh, it did not like me saying that. Hello, rats! Been a while since I've seen you guys. While we have it in our inventory, let's take a look at the anomalous plant. A plant that was part of a grove which was partially transformed by anomalous activity. The grove reacted to the intrusion with aggression, but the plant does not appear to be dangerous so far. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy? Excellent. 
Sokolov has actually let slip that the suit is for him. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll show Herman the plant, and he'll agree to hand over the suit in no time. Tell Sokolov to come and collect it. Excellent. And we have attained a new achievement. Cool. It's been a good couple of episodes for that. Uh, what did we get? Pioneer. You're willing to research the most recent developments in the zone. You have, an advanced un you have advanced our understanding of the zone by finding new anomalous formations previously unknown to science. Uh, various new information allowed Professor Herman and Ozersky to create a new experimental drug, an antibiotic in the zone. Uh, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already have these. But does that mean that you'll sell them now? You will. I don't remember if you did before, but in any case, that's good to have. Oh, I, I love that so much, how helping with their research actually enables the developments of new technologies. I mean, we are so much better off. In the beginning, we were flying blind, and a lot of it is just instrumentation to help us do what we were already doing. Making our Howdy. lives easier, as science does. All right, uh, go see Herman about the suit, and we'll meet near Yanov Station at Zulu's place. All right, I'll see you next time. We well, need to get somebody else. I'm listening. You heard of the Oasis? Of course you've heard of it. I, on the other hand, have actually been there. Oh, have I was you? the first person to work out a way to get there. A pioneer, if you will. There ain't no mutants or friggin' anomalies there. It's quiet as a graveyard and full of artifacts. I was there only a few days ago, sunbathing and all that. Lead you there? Ha! Sorry, but I don't want it getting crowded. Nothing personal. Is that right? Tell me about your trip to the Oasis. Yeah, well guess what? I've been to the Oasis, and it's nothing like that. Scram. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's about as realistic of an outcome as we can hope for. So much for your stories. Alright, now I think I might actually get Vano in on this. Uh, cause tell you what, his whole thing with the bandits was that he wanted one of those suits, right? I don't know if it was the same suit, but he wanted a suit, so let's just do it. He kind of owes me the way I see it, and maybe he can get his suit out of it nonetheless. Hey man, it's good that you came. I'm putting together a team to go to Pripyat. You want to join me? You helped me, friend, so I'll help you. You'll need a suit with a closed cycle respiratory module to get to Pripyat. Man, my suit has one. You can stick your head into an oven and breathe just fine, but I pawned it at Hawaiian's. If only we can get it back. I'm broke and we'll need five grand. Alright, well that's a lot less than 25,000. All right, so here, take your five grand, and let's go see Zulu. Ah, we've got a whole crew together here, huh? So Vano's along for the ride, eh? Great. We've got ourselves someone to carry all our supplies. That's basically what I was thinking. <laughs> ah, relax, I'm kidding. How long have you known Vano? We met at a hundred rads a couple times. They say he's honest, optimistic, and a good stalker. But he's way too gullible. And that's a fatal flaw in the zone. So maybe he's a little bit more competent than we thought. We could find more fighters to join our squad, but you know what? I think we're good. It's... I don't know if Nitro is coming with us, but look, we've got me, Zulu, Vano, and Sokolov. I think we can do it. You sure? Yeah, another pair of hands wouldn't hurt. Now you're making me nervous. I'm sure, let's go. Man, this is exciting. I clicked that, and I almost can't believe it's happening. Uh, maybe I should have gotten... No, I couldn't have gotten night vision. I couldn't have gotten night vision. I need the suit. There we go. That's better. Good to go. Ready. What? 
I'm always ready. Everyone's ready. Open it up. Roger. Let's rock. That's good. Go. Good luck, boys. Oh man, my hands are shaking. So, let's go? Yeah. I think unless we get totally wiped... I think unless we get totally wiped, I'm not gonna save scum this. I want this to feel like it has real consequences. We've gotta be very careful. Some shotgun ammo, excellent. Let me stick with you guys. And I'm gonna move ahead because I wanna take any fire or any danger myself. Wait, shouldn't there be more of us? There's something out there. I'm down. Why are we running forward like this? No, don't split up! Don't split up, I can't cover both of you! Is that a chimera? Ah, thanks for the friendly fire! I'm sorry if I'm not commenting much. I've got my head in the game. Oh, it was a snork. And I should have brought soul with me. But Press the button, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just uh let's just be careful now. Quick save again. Don't wanna die. Something's out there. No, nope, that's right. Focus on me. Focus on me. Focus on me. I'm immortal. Don't chase it down. I got it. Okay. That went about as well as it could have. Man, I wasn't prepared for that at all. See, the thing is, I was worried about... I was worried about swinging my weapon around and hitting them. Aren't we missing someone? There's Zulu, Sokolov, and Vano. Did he just not show up? I think only Zulu and Sokolov are Whoa. here. There's an anomaly here. Let's see if there's a way of getting through this. I can help. Here, I'll lead the way. Up here, guys. Oh, wait, no. I found the way through. Yeah? I suppose we could go through this way, yeah. It's a good thing I decided to follow you. How else would I have seen a place like this? Yeah, it's real exciting, but focus on staying alive, please. And please stay close together. We're so much safer that way. Something out there. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. I uh, hope you're not taking too much damage. I think it survived. I think I saw it running back in there. But visibility is difficult. Switch to shotguns for now. Is there something here? Just a piece of metal. Looks like the direct route is not an option. Maybe not, but can we get through that panel over there? No worries. Real men often take the best off. I couldn't agree more. Press the button, bro. Uh, it's so funny how exasperated they get waiting for me. Wait. Are these the labs? Oh, there's some more rats down there. Hey. Direct. Did you just get injured somehow? Are these the labs that it was talking about? 
Alright, come on. You guys don't go ahead of me, please. Not only are you at risk of friendly fire, but not for nothing, but you've been putting a lot of rounds into my back as well. And I still hear something out there. Something sees us. Nope! Yeah, you turn back. Here's the rail station. Whoa, whoa, whole bunch of them, whole bunch of them, whole bunch of them. Okay, yeah, focus on me. Focus on me! Focus on me! Focus on me! Thank you. Oh, it is so hard to help you without hitting you. Is there any way I can give you, like, medkits or something? Oh, this is stressful. Who was that? I'm not sure if Zulu can die. Maybe he can, but that was Sokolov. He's the one who needs to be protected more than anything. I don't know why, he just said that. Two more down. Nope. Come to me first. They're all dead. We're doing good so far. And this tunnel is much longer than I imagined, but there's probably something huge on the other side of this. Actually, I can definitely hear skittering on the other side. Let's be ready. Oh, that's a bunch of them. Nope. I'm out. Get it. Die like the rest. Amen. Oh, accidentally used side block. Oh wow, it really is. <gasps> We're in Pripyat. No time to celebrate yet, though. whole bunch of mutants down here. This must be the other end. Okay, guys. I'm actually a little off-put by how large the space is. And where is Vano? What was that? Something here? No, what was that? Come on, we gotta move together. Sounds like maybe just a rat. Oh, I can't move from this spot. Yeah, that was a rat. <laughs> okay. Over here now. Come on, guys, let's get this door open. The power to the gate has been cut. There's been a power cut. Haha. <laughs> but what does that mean for us? I guess I probably have to get up there and start it like Nitro did, right? Uh, okay, you guys hold tight, but this means I'm gonna be away from you. of you guys, huh? Probably the same ones as before. We can get through here. Oh, this place is huge. Oh, you guys are gonna come with me. That's excellent. That's actually really good. Uh, some gravitational anomalies here, and even an artifact inside there somewhere. Another anomaly. Let's see. Yeah, I, I've got this one, guys. Door's not being powered, though. Mm. Go this way once, it may be your last. Uh, guys, I already did it. Oh, 
Okay, there's a way through here. But yeah. Probably somewhere a little less deadly. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to get this thing opened. Hey, don't go there. It's closed off. Okay, what are you, the security guard? Maybe I have to find another way around. Okay, there we go. Uh, some stuff we can take. Uh, we can open this box as well and find another suit. And a type of ammo that we've never seen before. Okay, well, we've got that now. Can we perhaps open this door? No, we cannot. Okay, well, then what's the point? And what's that artifact that I'm seeing on here? That artifact should be over here somewhere. In fact, I think I just heard it spawn. But it looks so small on my detector. In here, perhaps? Ah, yes. It's just another one of these, but it doesn't hurt to have. Hmm. These look like some kind of maybe scientific equipment. But we can't open it. Just a whole bunch of vodka in here, which means some of the workers are probably goofing off when they shouldn't have been. Maybe we can try climbing up here. This looks like a transformer. I wonder if all the lines have been activated. Okay. Wait, I'm hearing other voices. Where from? Oh. Where are they? Die. Get out of my way, please. Oh, you're taking a lot of punishment. Oh, I should... I should probably be loading up with uh, AP. Die. What was that? Dude, what? How can you be that tanky? Okay, way to kill the mood. That was kind of stupid. Alright, load up AP rounds. Remember to do that this time and aim for the bud with power armor. Back to back, quickly. Oh, here they come. Our armor boy first, and that's a bunch of them. Uh, it really is a better vantage point up here. Come on, die, die. Everyone okay? Uh, I'm afraid to glance at my PDA. Okay, it looks like you're both good. What is that down there? Is that just? Loading glitches. A mess. You'd get an ass kicking for this kind of thing at our base. <laughs> it's not really the time for jokes. Okay, who are you guys? I don't think I've seen this before. Oh, they're monolith. I don't think we've encountered these guys in the wild except for the amnesiac ones. I wanna watch where you point that thing. But where's the one with the with the exosuit? So neither of you guys, uh, you've got some nice rifles on you as well. But you don't have any PDA on you or anything to let me know what the point of you guys was. Once again, I've been attacked, and I have no idea why. Well, we could go through there, but I'm going to make my way through that anomaly over there and see if that door is open now. Uh, now it is. Cool. whoa. Although I don't think there's going to be any other. I've got your back. Okay, thanks. Any other artifacts Look, here? It's open now. Yeah. As usual, you guys are two steps behind me, or two steps ahead when I'm trying to take some shots. Uh, can we open this door? No, probably not. Right. Switch to shotgun in close quarters. Uh, we could crawl through here to the other side if we crouch down a little bit more. Before we do anything, let's try and crouch our way into here, shall we? Uh, there's got to be a way to do it. Just the perfect way we can kind of glitch our way in. Keep moving, bro. I've got your back. Yeah, whatever. Come on. Just a Look, little bit. It's open now. All right. There's got to be some way we can glitch our way in here, right? Come on. 
We can see in there, there's got to be some way to do it. It looks like it's inviting me to kind of like crouch through, but it's just barely not enough. Die. Die, please. Yeah, sometimes I don't understand how these guys aren't dying. I mean, I guess he hit me and I was bleeding. Snipers. But, okay, one of you is over there. You're dead already. You're very much not dead, but I can't see you, really. Come on, man, this is AP ammo. Die, please. Thank you. Is that all of you? You were like, did they take care of you this time around? Okay, well that's all my AP ammo pretty much gone. Uh, but I should probably keep it out from now on. Now we activate the switch and what? No, 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 no. Where are they shooting from? More coming in. I don't know if those are mine or not. Those aren't mine. Any more of you? Gotta keep sniping. much for you. There's more of them, like, right under me, I think. Maybe it's worth it to drop down, do some big heroics? Or no, maybe that was you guys shooting. Is that all of them, then? Let's quick save, just in case. Okay, I wish I could command you guys and tell you to just go wait over there. Uh, some very weird stuff going on with this. Um, but I would very much like to find these guys' bodies so that I can kick their ammo, which I am now in desperate need of. And that's the end of my AP ammo. Pretty good way to spend it, if I do say so myself. I wonder if there's anything down this tunnel. Hello, you got a weird gun on you. These monolith fighters are geared up. So now I'm kind of starting to think, do the monolith fighters sort of dwell within the center of the zone, guarding it from any stalkers that might try to get in? Oh, we're going into a whole new world now, and this is really hammering that home. We didn't encounter them at all outside of here. My AP ammo is entirely gone now. Wait, anomaly? Chemical. Okay, let's move. Yep. Just be real careful. Zigzag through. Make your way. But if we come out on the other side. Moment of truth. You know, it's not so bad here, I think. Uh, maybe hold your thoughts until the end? Zombies! Yeah, no, it's actually exactly as bad as it was where we came from, at the very least. Ah! Okay, my guys just jump-scared me because they bumped me as I was clicking to take something and it caused me to unload my own gun. Oh, it never ends. Hey, guys. Anything down this way that might interest us? No, sadly. Now, this game's been rewarding exploration up until this point, but... I guess not every path is meant to be explored. Whoa. Now, I think some of you guys told me in the comments that these snorks are actually military personnel that were left behind during the 2006 disaster. I, I guess that means that they desperately tried to put their masks on and ended up fused to them. 
Nope. 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 No. Oh wow, that's a bunch of them. Ow! I have to do this again. And you know what? Now that I look at this, I mean, it's a bit more spacious, but it sort of reminds me of uh, the meat grinder from the movie Stalker. Sorry. All of you. That was a bad time for you to turn back, huh? Next up is the snorks. Thank you. Right on cue. There's a whole legion of them advancing down this tunnel. Ow. A lot of rads as well. Luckily we're protected. Some of these seemed a little bit hardier than usual. Lieutenant Zubgov. Does it usually give names to zombies? I honestly can't remember. Uh, well, this one does. Roma tour guide. I wonder if we'll be able to come back down and explore these tunnels ourselves afterwards. I can hardly see what you guys are shooting at. Do you have some kind of night vision that I'm not aware of? Whoa, power armor zombie. And you're packing quite a weapon. Wait, has somebody else picked it up? Oh, one of you guys got it. That's lame. This is a huge concentration of zombies. We must be getting near something... Powerful psionically, right? Is this it? Is this actually the light at the end of the tunnel? <gasps> I think it is! We did it, and not a casualty among us. Uh, although there was me as a casualty a bunch of times, but let's not worry about that. I kind of took the brunt of it on purpose. Oh. Would anyone like to mark Let's the occasion? This is over. Okay. No flair for theatrics, I tell you. This is a huge moment. Uh, hey guys! That's a good thing they didn't just panic shoot us. Put your weapons on the ground, now! I have information for Kowalski. Take me to him. Who are you? What's your business with the commander? I'm Major Degtyrev, USS. I'm here to investigate the failure of Operation Fairway. USS? What the...
What do you think? We're here for fun? Why so trigger happy? Can't you see that we're all friends here? Me and Agent d have been through a lot. Trust <laughs> me on that. Well, it was good to have you, I suppose. Okay. Follow me. I'm not going. I have no business with the army. Or the USS. Hold it. Let him go, Captain. Fine. Screw him. And here we are. I'm not sure what was going on with our companions. But we made it. Okay, Colonel Kowalski. I'm Major Deg the de 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 USS. I'm authorized to investigate the failure of Operation Fairway. Uh, it's been a long time. I had almost forgotten we were with the government. I see. Then listen up, Major. Operation Fairway went down the pan together with our choppers. Half my boys are dead, and we ain't got comms with HQ. I want to know why the operation failed as much as you do. Any ideas? My only idea is that the helicopters were shot down. Shot down using an extremely powerful weapon that we don't know much about. Monolith fighters used one against us during our first assault on the CNPP. I'm planning to capture one of these weapons and investigate. If you want in on the action, the Monolith squad carrying the weapon has been tracked down, and the assault team is waiting for my signal to begin the operation. What do you say? I agree on the condition that you provide me with all the information you've got and complete freedom of action. Okay. Can you give me more details on the mission? You and the assault squad need to proceed to Object A-17. Captain Tarasov will show you. The target is two hospital wings connected by a passage. Monolith fighters are currently in the western wing. You are to set up an ambush in the other. They should have the rifle with them. Probably carried by the biggest crackpot. And who is he? Probably that squad's leader. The boys saw him giving his fighters a sermon. Literally. Be careful. Who knows what you can expect from him. Roger, Colonel. Well, things have certainly taken a crazy turn here. I don't know where Sokolov went. I honestly have no idea what was going on with our companions there, but in any case, I believe we made it without casualties. And now, as it came as somewhat as a surprise to them... It's time for us to resume our true duties that we had in the beginning. We made it, but... Sightseeing will have to wait until next time. Until then, let's take a much-needed rest. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.